everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Markeisha and today I will be sharing with you a few Valentine projects that I have been creating. I have been using my silhouette as well as my Cricut to just kind of create some Valentine inspired projects. Valentine is one of the um, holidays that I really like to create for. I love all of the pinks and reds and all of the colors. And so without further ado, let me just go ahead and jump into today's video. So you will see here that I created some of the Valentine inspired fortune cookies here. And these were so easy to make guys. And what I'm going to do is give these to my grandchildren and let them kind of open it up. I always try to have like a Valentine little, um, I would say sleepover for the grandkids. Um, last year we had um, lots of uh, baking and we made homemade pizzas. And so everybody was able to create the pizza that they liked. That was so very fun. So I am going to do that again this year. We also had a chocolate fondue bar. Like guys, I just love to go all out with my little grandbaby. So if you follow my December daily, I did do a spread or a story on that. So I'm going to add these to their little um, packets here. And so these were again, so simple to make. I cut this out of my silhouette. I will have all of the silhouette files, um, design IDs, in the description um, um, bar below. So you can just check it out in case you are wanting to create some of these for um, your craft. I created this little gumball packet here. I used the paper from um, Michaels and that is the new Valentine paper, specialty paper that they have out um, now. This uh, was so cute. It did have where you can add like some little candies down in here, but I decided to add some sequins mix down in mine. I just added this chipboard piece that says Happy Valentine, some little Valentine um, hearts there and the little cherries. And then I did stuff it with some of this candy here, the sea salt caramel. And then I just put some shreds down in the inside. So this could actually be wrapped in maybe some cellophane or something like that. You can put a little bit more in there as you guys can see. So All yeah, right, so I am always looking for ways to, or packaging ideas. If you've been rocking with me for a while, I mean, I have tons of videos on my channel with packaging ideas. So this was one that I picked up from Five Below and it's called a confetti push popper. And so I used to really enjoy having the little orange sickle, I believe, push up pops when I was growing up. And so um, what I did was added this sticker here that says forever and ever, and then added some sequence mix there. And it actually do, I'm not gonna push it up all the way because it will pop completely out, but it works guys. And so this is just another cute way that you can send some sequence mix in your uh, happy mail. And again, with it being sweet, you know, kind of Valentine's with sweet treats and things like that and chocolate, I thought this was very, very cute. Here is another project. This is called a matchbook um, project here from the Silhouette file. And it has this little belly band on it that you can pull off. It says, be mine. I'm just gonna take this off. And then it's, it's kind of tucked down inside. Just pop it up. And when you pop it up, I just have a Ghirardelli chocolate, the milk chocolate caramel. And again, you just tuck it right back down in there. And then you put this back on on it here but let me show you guys i've created one of these before this was also a silhouette file here and what i like about this one is it actually has the pouch here where you can add you know either a gift card or a candy or something like that in this one this was also a silhouette file too and i'll have this below if you're interested in creating this matchbook as well all right here is a fry cart that you can, or card you can use. What I liked about this one is that it had this bow that was on the front of it. Um, I love it. And all I did was just stuck some candy down in here. These are the sour popping candy here, but you can put quite a bit of things down in this. It is very large. And again, you can take some cellophane wrap and you can, you know, wrap it up and just stuff this really nice with, um, 
you know, it says some goodies there. And this is how it looks on the back. But this was really, really cute. This file is, is cute to me. All right, and what I created here was some candy, guys. And I used some of the little sticks that you can do, like cake pops and things like that on. I always have those because I'm always having a party or something for the grands. And so this was totally inspired by Peep All, I think that's how you pronounce uh, her YouTube channel. I'll have it linked below. She does great tutorials on like fake bakes and things like that. And so what you can do with these, um, you can wrap them and then maybe put a little bow on them. I just stuck them down in here. But these are the little um, table scatters from the Dollar Tree. And I put some glue on them and then just added them there, guys. And so these can just be some little embellish you can kind of stick down in your packaging right there. This next one here, guys, is a pretzel box. And I seen this on the silhouette. And so I am always, again, having parties where I am doing like sweet treats and things like that. So I do pretzels, Oreos, all that kind of fun stuff, right? And so I always kind of have things like this box here where I can just put the pretzels down in here when I get done creating or maybe the bag. But in this particular case, when I seen this, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be really cute when you are, you know, creating uh, having a little party, a little get together, gallon time is coming up. So maybe if you want to send something to your girlfriends. And so in this, I actually did put some pretzels down in here. Um, this is a chocolate and pink pretzel that you can stick down in there. And then you can close it up here at the top and just have a nice little treat. What I also noticed that you can do with these is you can also put your pins like this down in there as well. And so you don't necessarily have to use this file for sweet treats. You can put, you know, these pins in. You can also, um, you know, a lot of people are doing the um, pins with the different decorated balls and beads and things like that. That can also go down in there. So that is really, really cute. And no, I did not actually create some pretzels. I was in the Dollar Tree and I found these, the milk chocolate pretzel rod so i didn't have to actually create any so i was glad of that but this is a really really fun die that you can use just for packaging if you want to send some goodies there and like i mentioned you just close it at the top guys thanks so much for stopping by my channel today if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love if you take a moment and subscribe to my channel also hit the like button if you like the content on today. I'm also on Instagram. You can find me at Markeisha Turner 7 and I would love to have you go over and follow me on IG. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next crafty video. Bye.